Hello everyone, back to today's third and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for B Bank Holiday. It's coming up on Friday, a week today, uh, 8th of May. We've got the early May Bank Holiday in brackets VE Day. It was going to be a day of uh, commemoration and celebration for the 75th anniversary of the uh, VE Day. Unfortunately, all of those commemorations and celebrations have had to be cancelled due to this awful coronavirus. Um, but we've still got the bank holiday itself, Friday the 8th of May. So we're going to have a look and see what the weather is uh, being forecast to do by the GFS. Uh, I'll get, get on that for you uh, very shortly. Just to say that Germany Friday has been released. That's the month end look ahead, taking us pretty much through the whole of May. I've got a week 10 day video update uh, as well. Terry Scully's uh, May forecast will be coming up very shortly at gasweathervids.com. Right, so let's get on with it then. I'm going to start off with the uh, GFS for Friday, the 8th of May. It's just a week away now, so it's beginning to move into the semi-reliable time frame. Um, and it shows an anti-cyclonic signal, actually, with high pressure somewhere between Iceland and Scotland. Winds are kind of drifting in around the eastern side of that high pressure from a northerly direction. But it is anti-cyclonic, so it would be... A lot of dry weather, even if temperatures would be a little bit on the depressed side. There's the upper air temperatures uh, for Friday. So they do look quite chilly, actually, up in the north. And probably a little bit below average through all parts of the country, to be honest. But we're under high pressure, so it is relatively dry. And I think the air would be quite clear with this. So there would be plenty of sunny spells coming through. These green coloured areas down here across Wales, South West they're sort of... Um, uh, it's picking up on cloud, potentially a little bit of uh, a few light showers, but I think mainly dry, but with cloud bubbling up in the southwest. Otherwise, I would suspect a lot of sunshine coming out uh, with this high pressure. Temperatures are a little bit on the lowly side, so particularly in northern and eastern parts of the country, we're struggling to get into double digits. You can normally add a degree or two onto these temperatures, but even so... For Scotland and Northern England, that's only getting you into the low teens Celsius at very best. Further south and west, where we are sheltered a bit from that Northern England, it's not quite as chilly there. Temperatures sort of mid-teens, add a couple of degrees on. That probably gets you to around 18 degrees across Southern England. But feel relatively warm in the May sunshine. Best temperatures look like they're over across Ireland, actually. So not too bad at all for the bank holiday, but a little bit on the chilly side. Then we're moving to Saturday. We're going to look at Saturday and Sunday because it's going to be a long weekend. Normally that would go Saturday to Monday, of course, but this one is going Friday to Sunday. So Saturday 9th of May, again, it's dominated by high pressure. There's lots of dry weather to uh, be enjoyed. Lots of dry weather on offer. Our bread temperatures have lowered further, though. So that is quite a cold area for high pressure, particularly uh, for early May, it is a very chilly ridge that we've got there, but under the high pressure, it is mostly dry. Temperatures, again, are really struggling. Um, so, eastern parts of the country are pegged back into single digits. I think that's pessimistic, really, given the strength of the sun. Even with the cold upper air temperatures, I think that um, the sun would be able to offset that to some degree. The sun is strong enough to offset that to some degree. So, I suspect we would still be getting into uh, low to mid-teens, but probably the main thing to watch out for there would be cold nights, early and late, um, risk of some perhaps quite damaging frost. Um, but by day, in the May sunshine, I suspect it won't feel too bad. And then we finish up on Sunday, the 10th of May, again, we're at about ridge of high pressure, so we don't look too bad at all. The upper air temperatures still look pretty cold across most parts of the country, and it is a dry day uh, again as well. And the temperature on uh, Sunday, so again, it's a little bit on the disappointing side, really. Uh, it's strong to get into double digits. It's pessimistic, I think. You'll be able to add a few degrees on. But again, the best we're sort of talking about with that would be mid-teen Celsius, I think, and particularly cold early and late. Highest temperature is probably Western Scotland and Northern Ireland. Uh, but overall, quite a chilly sort of few days. Um... But uh, high pressure dominates, so it is mostly dry, lots of flying weather, plenty of sunshine, and I'll watch out for some cold nights. So, I mean, it's not a bad weekend, uh, really. We have had a lot worse, especially uh, in the early part of May. 
Right, uh, that's it for your videos uh, for today. We've got Toast Guys May forecast coming up very shortly. And then tomorrow we're going to have a weekend forecast. We'll have a week 10 day V update for all the regular features. Sunday we've got summer analogues coming up. That's going to be looking at summers following the warmest Aprils on record. Uh, we'll have Gaz, we'll be sitting around and there'll be a live stream on the YouTube channel. Between 5 and 6 o'clock, we'll all check in and see how we're all doing while we're in lockdown. That's going to be on the YouTube channel between 5 and 6 on Sunday. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.